Hi, and welcome to HR How To. Today, I'm going to tell you how to write a job description. For an employer, writing a job description is just as important as crafting a cover letter for a job seeker. To grab that seeker's attention and ultimately be convincing enough that your job is the one, you'll have to be concise, functional, practical, and current. Learn how to make sure your description includes the basic information and contains enough flair to be attractive to job seekers. Method 1. Presenting Basic Information Define the position. Start your job description by stating the title and key responsibilities of the position you wish to fill. That way potential employees will know right away whether they're qualified for the job, and people who aren't qualified will be weeded out before they have to read the entire description. It helps if the job title is recognizable. An incredibly vague title, like associate customer officer, or the like may not get job seekers excited about the role. If you have control over the title, make it straightforward and interesting enough that people will actually want a job with that title. List between 5 and 10 key responsibilities, erring on the side of being concise. The responsibilities should be clear and have an obvious purpose. For example, Write research competitor trends and present reports on your findings, rather than stay on top of our competitors. Include information on how often certain responsibilities will be performed, and what percentage of the entire job they encompass. List the required skills and qualifications. Being upfront about exactly what skills, educational background, training, Equipment proficiency and other qualifications job candidates should have is extremely important in a job description. The candidate should be able to skim through the list and immediately know whether he or she should apply. Think through the position, then write down all the skills and qualifications you think the candidate should have. Did you include everything that is required? Make sure your list is inclusive, or you may be in for some awkward conversations during the interview phase. On the other hand, don't go overboard with skills and qualifications. You can list a few that are preferred, but not required, but this could deter potentially great candidates from applying. Remember that a person's work ethic and personality can be as integral to their success as his or her skills and qualifications.